Well, Chef Brian, what do you think? Uh, would you like to see the Barbie movie? No. No? No. <laughs> That's a hard no for me. <laughs> I might want to see it. But I would like to show you how to finish up these Dutch oven chicken and potato dishes here, Bron. And you go enjoy that movie. That's for sure. So as far as the potatoes, I just had a fun viewer. I hope she was being fun. Texted me and said, oh, I don't like onions. So I guess you're out of luck on that one there. But same concept, building layers with the potatoes onions, potatoes, throw in some bacon on there, salt, pepper, and then you're going to start to build those uh, layers over again. Remember, when it comes to Dutch oven cooking, it's all about the layers. And then what I like to do, and I always thought I was so cool when I was little, we'd go buy like a can of beer or something, put it in the, for the liquid in the potatoes, cook it off. It has an amazing flavor and delicious. All right, so as far as our wonderful Dutch oven potatoes, I do have a recipe for that on Cooking with Chef Brian. You can just search it in the website for it, or you can Google Dutch oven potatoes, Chef Brian. It'll pull up some options for you. Here's the chicken, all beautiful. And this is also really good if you want to put like a can of uh, Campbell's uh, cream of chicken soup or you know whatever there's so many different variations for this for chicken recipes Dutch oven chicken I'm kind of a simplest I just like the onions good old salt and pepper in there and just let that cook up brown it up here in buying the chicken already seasoned it saves so much time when you're going out camping and you don't have to worry about taking seasoning and you can just pan sear it and off you go, uh, cook it up on the campfire there. The chicken recipe is on my website. Head on over to cookingwithchefbrian.com. There's also a Dutch oven potato recipe on there. Just search for it and you can find it there. But what a great way to celebrate Pioneer Day coming up with some Dutch oven cooking. Well, you've cooked up enough there for a wagon train. Well, well, giddy up. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, by the well, welcome everybody to the kitchen, and if you're looking to impress those friends for Pioneer Day on some cooking Dutch oven chicken, I got you, I got you here. Okay, let's start first of all with the chicken. I like to buy the chicken pre-seasoned already. It's very easy to do that because then you can just take the chicken out camping. You don't have to worry about bringing seasonings, and it's just, it's an easy way to do that. Plus, at the time, all of those seasonings are actually marinating that chicken, so it's going to have a lot of flavor to it already in there. So that's a great way to do it. Now, second of all, I like to actually fry up the chicken first. So in a skillet, brown it up because in the Dutch ovens, they're going to steam. They're not going to cook and brown like this. And so I like to get them some nice browning on there. And this is how I do chicken, roast chicken anyway. And grandma used to do it this way. And I, oh, I love my grandma's fried chicken. It was so delicious. She fried up like this put it in a roaster oven and cook it for hours and hours to where it was amazing. So you can see that beautiful color on there. This is what you want to do. Now the next thing that you're going to remember when you're Dutch oven cooking is layers. Everything needs to be layered to have some incredible flavors to it. So once you get those two things in mind, you're gonna have the best Dutch oven anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Okay, so these are the pans I'm pretending to be the Dutch ovens because I already have the Dutch ovens in the oven cooking what I need them to cook. So when you have the chicken like this, brown them off in a frying pan over the fire, and then when you add them into it, oh, here comes sliced onions. Add those onions on the bottom. There's a little oil in the pan, and then start to layer that chicken right on top of that. Of course, the chicken isn't cooked, and that's what you're gonna do, cook it in the Dutch oven. Now once you get one layer there, create another layer with that um, onions in there and continue up, top it off into the oven or onto the fire it goes. So guys, when we come back, we'll finish this all up. Some Dutch oven chicken and taters. Hmm, that's gonna be great.